This boy jumped into Godzilla's mouth in despair. His brother was scared to death, but next second Godzilla spat him out. Turns out it was to retrieve a gemstone, but then Godzilla stood up. Just days prior, three boys had come to the rainbow's end, where a gem granted any wish. The first boy wished for endless candy, and his pockets instantly overflowed. He then wished for a castle which rose from the ground, and a canyon with crocodiles for protection. But after making these, the three fought over the gem, and it accidentally dropped into the canyon. Down at the bottom, just as they found it, a crocodile swallowed them whole. To regain the stone, Alan jumped into his mouth, but after retrieving it, the crocodile wished to stand up. Chasing them onto legs now, the boys were soon cornered. As the crocodile slowly approached, Alan desperately wished them away from there. A dinosaur came flying, carrying them to a tall tower, but the persistent crocodiles could climb. Just as doom seemed certain, Alan wished for Godzilla to take them away. A great wind rose and finally they were safe. But back home, the older brother called them stupid. So Alan used the gem to make one of them super smart. Shockingly, their less than one year old sister became Professor X, able to communicate telepathically. Dumbing the gem to unpredictable, Alan spawned a catapult and flung it away. I thought I'd find it, but someone else did first. The boy who picked up the talking gem asked it to make aliens appear. Frilled, without any special abilities, just glancing at the TV allowed him to whip up an elaborate dinner. Incredibly delicious. Not only that, at light speed they tiddied his room and removed his eight-year-old braces with advanced tech. Even the school bullies were no match, pushed aside to become living plaster. That night after the boy fell asleep, his mom tried to check his phone to see if he was dating. Suddenly he woke up, and she hastily stashed the gem in her purse. At the party, she complained her husband was ignoring her and wished they were closer. The next second, they fused together. Hearing someone coming, they hid, but the bag dropped where little May found the gem, turning her brother into a beetle. Snatching it back, the gem fell onto a dinner plate where the owner picked it up, wishing his staff could be more competitive. Immediately, they all brawled until May seized the gem again and drove off on a rocket motorcycle, only to crash into a lamppost and fall into a trash can. The boy found the gem again and desperately wished everything back to normal. Afraid it would harm more, with a spin, he flung it away, landing in Jakey's home. His dad was a bacteria researcher. Jakey picked it up, casually wishing his dad's experiment would succeed. Shockingly, the snot he was just researching evolved. When Alan came over and they found the wishing gem, during an argument, it flew off again. The owner was horrified as the giant snot monster emerged, but the fearless boy just swallowed it whole to retrieve the gem inside. But then the monster lifted him, ready to eat him. At the critical moment, Jakey pulled off a special move that stunned the poopman. This boy was too fierce. It quickly released him, seeing his brother nearly die. The snot monster wiped cold sweat, but soon they charged out again for revenge. Luckily just in time, their dad came and sucked up the monster with a vacuum cleaner, turning the infamous snot monster into a cute little pet. But with more people knowing the gem secret, a scramble ensued. They gave chase but a man found it first, wishing to be the richest man in the world, then the strongest. Becoming hostile, seeing the metal giant, May turned into a bee with a gem, fiercely stinging him. The boy then became a whirling giant poopy man, charging forward. Alan also summoned alien friends, but even they were no match. Just then, the 300 IQ sister appeared, mentally pleading with everyone. Not to let greed corrupt them the gem had to be destroyed, or they would all perish. They came to their senses and worked together, finally shattering the maddened stone in a rainbow glow as peace returned. If you had such a wish-granting gem, what would you wish for?